Let's talk about your career. So you you went from went from tech. Mm -hmm. did, you, did you guys have an exit from that? Yeah. So we yeah. sold. We had the funeral exchange, which is older solutions, which mm -hmm. we rolled in and started Layer Tech. Yeah. And then Layer Technologies for fourteen years. And then we sold that to DataPipe, who sold to Rackspace in two thousand fourteen. Gotcha. Cool. So, so you had a because uh, we just went through our own exit uh, a couple years ago. We had a three hundred million dollar exit company downtown. Bought it's called Integrity Marketing Group. So I, it was a kind of a cool process to to build something that somebody wants to acquire and and what that life is like after they acquire you. What the next level is going to be. Mm -hmm. So w would you attribute that's where you made a ton of your early experience and your money, learning tech, learning the the business entrepreneurial side of things before you start before you founded Icon. Yeah. So uh, like I was, we were talking about before off camera, Icon was really like. It was interesting just because of the timing and stuff, right? So um, when we started Layer Tech 14 years before that, I had no money. I would just come down here, just found out we were pregnant. And then literally four, 15 years later, we had sold um, Layer Technologies. And then I told my wife we were going to start Icon. She's like, what the heck? Like, <laughs> we just found out we were pregnant again 15 years later with Ryder. I told you, yes. God told us we weren't done yet. And yes. Uh, yes. from that standpoint, it was just like, can't you get a normal job? Like, can't you just do something normal? But um, again, it's not, she knows me and that's not the way yeah. I'm wired and stuff. So that's when we started Icon and really. Um, when you when we ever employed? So I've never been really employed yeah. by anyone. So the closest yeah. thing to any employment was what I talked about. I had um, a job when I first came out, I was 20 years old. It was called Edge Technologies, but it was me and another 21 year old guy that were running um, Canada for yeah. a 34 year old entrepreneur, billionaire, which I learned a lot of bad lessons from um, yeah. in Australia. And that's what got me down here. But that was the closest thing I'd be to employed by anyone else. So how did you know you're wired for entrepreneurship? Because a lot yeah. of people say, listen, I want something safe. I want a good job, something secure. I'll tell you a quick story. So when I was going to college, um, our farm town had like a little tiny couple thousand people in it. How do you say the name of your college? Uh, the college was Laurentian. Laurentian. Laurentian, Laurentian University. Yeah. There you go. But um, so I grew up in a little farm town and then Honda came to our town. So Honda, the car factory. Really? And everyone was like, oh, you got to get a job here. Like all these people, MBAs and degrees, and they're all working at Honda. And I was still going to college and they're like, oh, you got to get a job here for the summer. And I'm like, whatever. So I ended up applying, got a job there, and I lasted two weeks. Uh, what happened? And my dad was like, so I quit because you go in here and you go, you put, I still remember this, yellow lines on the floor, white jumpsuit. You're going and doing your two hours, put on steering wheel or tires, whatever. And you have some dude at the end of the line yelling crap at you and drinking his coffee. And then you go up through the cafeteria and you're walking your line to get your tray. And I was like, I can't do this. I'm not wired this way. Right? Yeah. So what I do, I quit. And I went, that's my first time ever network marketing. And Interesting. I a network marketing job that I was doing 90, 100 hours a week, door to door. What type of uh, in industry? Suit. It was uh, marketing, like pamphlets and like these discounts way back and stuff. Okay. But I still remember like now you probably get shot going to people's houses in downtown Toronto, but knocking on doors. But I did that in 90 degree heat. And my wow. dad was like, you're crazy. You're like, you like screwed your whole life up because yeah. you're never going to get jobs. But that's just, that's my first really into entrepreneurship. How, how old were you? I was probably 17, 18. Wow. Okay. And uh, again, just that was when it was sort of all the different sales trainings and other things, Zig Ziglar back then and yeah. a bunch of other stuff, Tony Robbins and I Les mean, Brown and all this stuff. Yeah. So, yeah way back. But we just had we had just had Les Brown at our um, at our event earlier this year. Just, man, what an icon. Yeah.